All right, in this video, we're going to cover the DualSense Edge hooking up to the PC, how to use all of the um, extra buttons on the back and how to button map them the easy way on the PC, whether it be hardwired or Bluetooth. I'm going to show you how to use it with your favorite game. I've been currently using it on Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to show you how to button map or select the corresponding buttons for the paddles on the back of the remote right now i have everything set up for hogwarts legacy but you can have up to four different presets it's super easy to swap in between profiles so for instance you're playing an fps shooter and you want the paddles to be something else you're playing god of war or maybe even you're playing hogwarts legacy you can set the paddles up to whatever you see fit and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Now the easiest way to set everything up for the PC is generically just going to be to set it up right on your PlayStation 5, assuming you have one. You'll set up all the profiles and then you'll be able to do it in real time just while holding the controller while it's plugged in or Bluetooth to the PC. We're going to do this the old fashioned way. I just film the screen here, pardon that. I have my other PC ripped apart that has my capture card in it, so this will have to do. But let's get started. So, obviously, the FN button, it's right underneath of the right analog stick. The easiest way to set it up for PC is to do it right here on the PlayStation first. So we're going to set all the button maps up and then we'll go from there. So first, hold in the FN button, hit start on the remote. It'll bring you to this screen right here. Then we're going to go up to create custom profile, hit X, put a name. and then click OK. Then go here, the very top one, Custom Button Assignments. On the left side of the screen, at the bottom, you'll see the icon for the left paddle. We're going to click on that, and at least for Hogwarts Legacy, I've been using Triangle for that because it's the parry and counter button. It's way easier on Hogwarts, at least, to have it set for here. On Hogwarts, you have to hold in R2 and then spam the triangle circle X squared to cast spells. Well, I've been noticing you got to let go of R2 to deflect while you're mid fighting. So this way, I can keep my hand on the R2 button, still cast spells or still quick cast spells. And then I can just use the left pad back here for parrying. So it works out perfectly. But you can set it up for whatever you need to. This is kind of me just going off Hogwarts because I'm still fresh off the heels of playing it for the first time. This side, I go with circle. You could do, again, whatever you feel like doing. Then come down here to the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Apply. And then what you can do is go through these if you want to change the vibration sensitivity and the trigger effect let's just stay away from that for right now because that's not the point of this so now you see the names that you have created profiles for to save them to a hotkey you're going to go to this double arrow icon right here with the double arrow in the remote click that and this is how you'll save it to a profile that's saved on the hardware level, meaning whatever you set up on this remote stays on the physical remote. You don't need to have the PlayStation 5 on to change in between profiles for different button maps, which is huge. Okay, so now let's save that as FN Circle. So now you can see here, FN triangle is default, FN circle is the YouTube one I just did, FN X, 
is Hogwarts. FN Square is my God of War. Now, we could back out of here. Now, when we're on PlayStation and you hold down the FN button, this is what pulls up this screen for you to be able to see what button map you want to go with or what profile, I mean. So while you're hitting FN, you hit circle and you go to YouTube or you hit X and you go to Hogwarts and you just let go. On PC, that prompt won't show up. So you're just going to have to remember, okay, Call of Duty is FNX, God of War is FN Square, Hogwarts, FN Circle. Therefore, you have everything memorized and you could just switch in real time while it's connected to the PC via Bluetooth or USB. So now let's kick back over to the PC. Now, I hardwired the remote into the controller. We're going to, if you don't already have this, just go Google it. Or I'll just leave a link for it in the description. This is called DS4 Windows. Now, once you first initially install this, just follow the instructions. Once you plug in the remote to your computer, I would start by hardwiring it. You will come here to Profiles, click New. And then it'll ask, do you want a preset option? Just click no. So when you click no, you're going to come here to select preset. Go to gamepad. Go right here to DualShock 4. Click apply. Now you're telling the PC that this is indeed a DualSense or a PlayStation remote. It doesn't have DualSense on here yet because it's still, you know, it's still just emulating the dual shock but then you can drop a name right here click save then you'll go here and choose that name that you saved now when you're in here to select all of them you just go to your profiles again go to dual sense and then you can pull up all of your stuff you can go to light bar right here change the colors of your remote and that's pretty much how you set this up. So your computer can now register that you have a DualShock or a DualSense hooked up to the PC. Then just minimize it. That, that will stay running in the background. Then you can just go to whatever game you're planning on using it for. In my case, it's been Hogwarts Legacy. Come on, come on, come on. Config loaded, gamepad, it, it recognized the controller. You saw it prompt up on the right side of the screen there. You can see already, as soon as I boot into the game, the DualSense Edge remote is working. Now, we're going to hit. There we go. There's dodge working on this, the right paddle. And then we go over here to the left paddle. And that's your counter button. So it's actually pretty great. Works great, especially when you set it up the right way. So if you're having problems with Hogwarts Legacy specifically in that you have DS4 on, your controller was plugged in properly and everything was, you know, updated and everything seemed fine, but the DualSense Edge remote isn't being picked up, there's a problem more so with the game. So you got to do a quick settings change on the Steam settings. Now on Steam... Go to Steam up here in the top right corner, Settings, Controller, General Controller Settings, and then just click PlayStation Configuration Support. Then your problem's solved.
All right, if this was helpful and you liked it, drop a like, maybe a follow. Thanks for watching. Later.